Hello everyone. Uh, today in today's tutorial we will talk about the survival analysis and we will perform that kaplan meier survival analysis using R. So uh, as you all know that this is the R console and all the commands I'll use here I'll share in the comments box or I will try to uh, sh share the link from where you can help get most of the help. So first of all, what you need to do is to call all the libraries which are required for the analysis. These are the most commonly used libraries for uh, survival analysis. Uh, that is library survival, library ranger, library ggplot2, and dplyr, and gg45. So I just uh, first calling those libraries. Uh, and uh, if these libraries are not installed in your uh, computer or in your R package so what you need to do is to go on the um, uh, on the package you can see on the top and just install these packages so now uh, let's call the data which we have which contains the information of the genes and the survival time and status of the patients so uh, first uh, what I will do is I will set the working di directory so that I don't have to move here and there. So the working directory is set uh, as uh, in, in, in videos, uh, directory and folder and so on and so forth. So whatever, well, whatever place uh, you have s saved your data, you can just set that uh, working directory to that, right? Next is to call the data, data equals to read dot table and then write the file name and then uh, if it has a head header just write head equals to true and then if uh, and how it is separated so my f uh, file is tab separated so I'll just write slash t right so now if I just using the head uh, function I'm just seeing the values here you can see that uh, this file contains information about these are the uh, patients the gene information that in this in this patient the gene is uh, showing over upper regulation and then this patient is showing down regulation. Let me show you. Uh, I have also saved it in uh, Excel format, so let me show you how it looks now, like this, right? So here you can see that all the patient information and the gene information. So this uh, is patient and these are the genes. So up regulation, up regulation, down regulation, so on and so forth. Also, all the clinical information here you can see that this is the uh, overall OS stands for overall survival months. These are the months, and this these are the status, right? So, using this, uh, I'm using this file for the analysis, right? So after, uh, so here you can see overall months and status, right? So next what we will do here is let's perform start performing the survival analysis so first thing is to set uh, make an object of survival object and for that uh, it's uh, this is the command which we should use as we is, is an a variable i have selected then with uh, the data uh, which uh, which we have called here saved uh, as a variable in data and then serve as urv is the function and then uh, the data and os uh, time not time that is over os months right so over os months and then data os status so yes OS status. Now it's done. And then, uh, if you want to see the the values here, just write it head as we end. I want to paper paste the eighty the eighty uh, values. And here you can see that these are the survival time values of the from the data. Right. Next, what you have to do is uh start making the uh, making the plot here 
so for, uh, first thing is to write sp underscore fit and then again uh, equals to serve fit serve data os time and all this again right Data equals to data because uh, in the data my 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 variable in which I have stored the file is data right. So now you can paste the summary of uh, the data depending on the time you want to paste it. For example, I want to uh, print the estimates of the survival information um, um, at different time points or different months time. For example. Here I am. Uh, I am assuming uh, I am selecting time. For example, from from first month to thirtieth month, and then sixtieth month, and then the ninetieth month. So this will paste the summary based on the these months. Mm, and uh, let me show you here as. Uh, So yeah, so here you can see that from first a total number of risk factors 171 events only one event occurred of the death here and then the survival time and then at 30th month 85 number of events occurred. So this, uh, this plot is actually about the survival information against the time and number of events occurred at the during the during the this time from 1 to 90 months. So let's uh, make a survival plot for against a gene using any gene information that whether the upregulation of a specific gene, uh, for example, AKT1 gene, uh, has two types of expression. One is upregulation, the other is downregulation. So whether there is any association of the AKT1 upregulation or downregulation with the survival of uh, the patient, whether it's a good association or there is a bad association whatever is uh, we can see in the plot so uh, let's uh, I'm just using the same commands here just adding the gene information uh, so that it can make an uh, against the gene for example here that is uh, data dollar akt1 gene because I'm calling this column from the from the file kt1 comma data equals to data so let's see what oh there is an error uh, an expected error of uh, okay yeah i forgot to put the one uh, function here after serve it, I have to put a serve function with the capital S here. Yes, this one here. Let's put it here again. Capital S U R V and enter. Yeah. Now I'll use the auto plot command to see whether there is a difference between the up regulation and down regulation in the in the time. yes so yeah enter yeah so now this is the plot of uh, gene expression or gene values against the months and status and here uh, you can see that it's showing in different colors so blue or greenish blue represents the up regulation and reddish color is for the down regulation and here you can see that there's a slight difference between the two plots here and uh, so this is uh, this is the whole analysis I had to show you here and uh, how uh, you can see that here it is not showing you the Cox proportional hazards model or the significant p-values so we will do that in the next tutorial here for now you can see that using these couple of commands we were able to generate the survival plot of the 
AKT1Z. Thank you very much and bye-bye.